What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. This week's extension of the week allows you to create 3D models from bitmap image files within SketchUp. So before we get started, uh, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. So I want to say a big thank you to my newest supporter, Mark Griffies. So Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. In addition, all of my Patreon supporters get to vote on the extension that I cover every week in my extension of the week video. So if you're interested in that, you want to support the show and also get to vote on the extensions I cover every week, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, bitmap to mesh. Plugin developer, TomTom. Tom. Plugin cost, it's free. I'm also going to link to a forum post below this video um, that not only has instructions but also a link to support TomTom. Tom. So if you like what he's doing, make sure to support him as well. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. This is a very simple tool. It basically contains two functions, mesh from height map and mesh from bitmap. So Mesh from Heightmap allows you to take bitmap heightmap files and import them in order to create terrains from those heightmaps. And basically a heightmap is a grayscale bitmap image that's used to store height values. So the darker or lighter an image is maps to the height of the points that are created in your model. So bitmap to mesh will allow you to read these files and create a heightmap from them. Simply go up and select, select Mesh from Heightmap set a base point to place your image, and then move your mouse up and down to select how much height you want to add. This is a very important note. This extension creates a large amount of geometry, so I would not try bringing in super high resolution images. You'll basically create millions of different faces and you'll lock up your computer. My recommendation instead is possibly go into an image editing app like Photoshop and actually reduce the resolution as much as possible. So one very important tip that you can't really find anywhere is you can actually adjust the number of pixels in this. And so the way to do that is when you set your point, if you move your mouse back down along the edge of the image like this, you can see how your cursor turns into this little arrow or this little pair of arrows. If you click while your cursor is over that pair of arrows, you can see how you get an image or an option down below for max size. So then you can set your second point and you can actually type in values to reduce the number of polygons that are created. So in this case, instead of a max size of 279 pixels, I'm going to type in 20. And this is the same image, you'll note, as the one that I used in my first demonstration, but this one has a much lower polygon count. So you can see how this is much more detailed than this. So you can use this to really simplify those contours. So again, whenever you're bringing your image in, draw, mesh from height map, Bring your image in, set your base point, then move your mouse back down so that it turns into this little pair of arrows and then click. And then you can enter the new max size. So then you can set your second point and type in a different max size. So in this case, if I type in 20 again and then click, you can see how I get a much smoother image. So that's something you can use to reduce your polygon count and also simplify the, con or the faces that are created. So in addition, if you right click, you can set the option for create solid, which will keep a base and extrude all your faces up to try to create this as a solid object. I've had varied levels of success in doing this. So in addition, you can also use this extension to create geometry from the individual pixels of an image if you decide that you want to do that. So once again, if you have a very high resolution image, this probably isn't going to work very well. So what I did is I reduced the resolution a whole bunch. You can see this still creates a whole bunch of different faces within this model. So this is why reducing your resolution is so important. But that being said, this has some interesting applications, especially for importing uh, geographical data and that sort of thing. So I will note again that this does create a huge amount of geometry, so you really need to focus on reducing the size of those bitmap images that you're trying to create this geometry from. Um, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Have you tried this extension? Um, do you think it's going to be useful to you? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below 
below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.